Hey folks, Captain Mike here from Salty Cape. Today I'm here in Cape Cod Bay and the stripers are feeding on juvenile herring. And what I have here is the Hoagie five inch slider in the blue color. It's an excellent herring imitator, both in size, shape, color, and profile finish. So it's gonna be very visible. Now these fish are fairly active and busting on the surface from time to time. And it's getting a little competitive with the boats. So when I get in this situation, I like to get into the general area, but switch to what I would call a good search bait. This is the Hoagie, again, the Hoagie five inch slider. So a lot of these boats are running around, moving all over creation. This is a great technique, a great situation to use what I call the walk and gun method. Now, if there's fish nearby, you, if you can walk to them, and still make it, that's a good rule of thumb where I'll pick up and move for them. But there's so many fish in the water, you can see you know, this big boat going through is gonna disrupt the herring. So lots of moving around is very bad for the fishing. He's pretty much just running right over my line right now. And, um, and so having a bait that's a good search bait and blind casting, so look behind me here, I got this guy. And so I literally, I'm gonna hit a boat if I cast in any direction and we've been drifting here for 20 minutes. So we'll just stay right here and keep blind casting. This, oh, just had a hit. This is crazy. And I don't know why everyone's moving around because there's just fish. And so I got the right lure and there we go. It's funny, both those guys in the boat that just passed are looking at us saying, oh, they hooked up, but I literally just cast in where that boat was a minute ago. So having a good search bait like this Hoagie five inch slider is a uh, good little asset to have in your tackle box here. 